Hello Dev, welcome back to Dev Made Easy, I'm Rob Somonese. Ready to make your website look amazing? We are introducing Card Animation Hover. Learn how to create cool image hover effects. Join us as we explore web design magic. Unleash your creativity and wow your audience. Stick around for expert tips and tricks. Subscribe now and let's make your website unforgettable. Let's get started. Alright, starting really from scratch, we have this folder with these pictures and also our markup and our style, okay? Let's have a title here, say card animation hover, and below that, let's connect our markup to our CSS file, okay? move into the markup is gonna be quite simple all we have here is gonna be a h1 and then a couple of divs with the pictures this h1 here let's say image gallery hover effects okay they're model one and let's see what we have so far okay just our h1 we have just this ugly h1 now let's have our main div gallery and inside of this, let's have our little divs, okay, gallery, gallery panel. And inside of each one of those, let's have a picture. In this case, we need at least five of them. As you can see, the picture right now is very huge. It's very big, but do not worry about that. We're gonna fix that using CSS, okay? Let's now duplicate this one four times. This way we have five pictures, okay? Looks like we have to do it one more time. And now let's change the name of the pictures. This one is image two. Let's go to the image three, image four. Oops, okay. And also image five. All right. And now is the time, let's go to the CSS and fix it. All right. We are now in the realm of CSS where part of the magic happens. Let's start with the CSS reset. But before we have a CSS reset, let me show you why we need it. Different browsers come with different numbers by default, different margin and padding, and we don't want that. So margin zero, padding zero, and box size in both the box. All right. So now we are working with our own numbers. We no longer need this one. And now let's worry about the pictures. As I told you, they are too big. So image max with 100%. And now they are in the right size, not in the right position, but we're gonna take care of that later on, okay? All right, let's now start the body. For the font family here, let's say Roboto and uh, as a fallback plan, Sans Serif. The font size, we want that a little smaller, 16 pixels. Line height, let's say 1.5, okay. Let's apply a color, not this one, let's say choo choo choo. Let me save. Background color, let's make it white. And let's have a bottom top here, a yellow one, just to give more emphasis to our pictures. 10 pixels solid F1 G2 3A. All right, this one on the top. It looks like we have to apply some padding. Let's apply 40 pixels top, 80 right and left, and zero bottom. And overflow here is gonna be hidden. All right. Let's now grab our H1 here and make a couple of changes, okay? Let's start here with the font size. We want that to be 1.75 rank, all right? Font weight, let's say 800. Text align, let's put that right in the center, okay? Looks like we need some space between the pictures. But first, let's have this text transforming per case. 
let's supply a machine bottom of terrain. You can have more if you want, it's up to you. Okay, let's go to the gallery, okay? Let's give a, mi a minimum width of, let's say, 800 pixels. Let's also give a height of 450 pixels, all right? We also want the margin in line to be auto, okay? The layout you want to put them horizontally in order to do that. Let's use Flexbox. So display Flexbox. Okay, they are side by side. Now we want to center it along the main X. So just like content center along the main axis, put that right in the middle. And let's give a gap in between the pictures. As, as you can see, they are stuck together. And yeah, now it looks good. Let me show you at different sizes. Okay, let's go to the next step. Let's now move into the gallery panel. Okay, each individual div with a picture in it. So the background color, let's say orange. This way we can see the, the whole div. Border radius, let's make the borders a little round around the corners, okay? With 0 0.75 RAM, as you can see here. And we also want to make it responsive, okay? In the way that the user knows that he can click on it or hover over it. So cursor, pointer, and yeah, it's looking much better right now. So he knows that he can hover over it and see the effects. And next, as you can figure out, we came across with a couple of issues. As you can see, the leading ready is wider than the rest of them. Okay, so that's an issue that we have to take care of. So let's go back here and make all them to be the same width. So let's say flex one. And there is another issue here. I cannot see the picture number five. Okay, and we need five pictures. Maybe it was a typo. Yeah, I found it. It was a typo here. Let's just fix it to image five. And yeah, we have a while. Lead teacher or something like that. Maybe student, I don't know. As you can see right now, the pictures are too small, all right. So let's try to fix that with gallery panel image. And let's give a width and the height of 100%. Yeah, they feel the diff, but they're not keeping the natural aspect ratio, okay? So let's solve that with object fit cover. And now, yeah, now they look good. They are natural, all right? As you can see, we solve a issue and the other one just shows up and we fix it again. That's what we are, we are problem solver, okay? Now we no longer need this color here, this background color orange. We can get rid of this. And let's have it overflow hidden, all right? Now let's go to the fun part of this project. Let's have the hover effect finally, okay? We are ready now. So gallery panel, hover and in here let's have the flex and multiply to 2.5 let me show you it goes 2.5 times its width but it does look natural so we can make it more beautiful if you apply a transition so let's apply a transition on the flex the time is going to be 0.5 seconds and it's going to be easy in out let me show you. Oh yeah, now it's much better. But wait a little bit. We can make it even more beautiful. Now let's make it even better. Okay, let's apply a grayscale filter to the image in the gallery panel that are not being hovered over. Okay, so gallery has gallery panel hover, gallery pattern not, we don't need those, let me delete this, 
hover and let's select the image okay so the filter here is gonna be grayscale and as you can see it's working it's kind of working but it's it's not nice okay so let's one more time go back to the transition to make it looks better all right Let's come here. Transition. Transition are very important, okay? Always make our project more beautiful. And let's apply a transition of dot five seconds. And yeah, our project is done. So that's all for today, devs. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye-bye.